and tonight at 11 with a story about body shaming. It involves a Playboy playmate who could face criminal charges. News Channel 3's Vicki Nguyen joins us live from Santa Barbara with a reaction. And Vicki, it involves a photo of a naked woman inside a gym that was then posted on Snapchat. Yeah, that's right. That older woman was at the gym changing in the locker room and she thought she was safe in there until she realized that a post of her was posted online and went viral. Close. You're so close, right around the corner. Yes, Ma, don't lose that. Jenny Schatzel motivates people to be the best version of themselves for a living. Don't create the story that the gym is intimidating or you're too slow or you're too old. You need to go and believe in yourself and love yourself. So when she heard about Danny Mathers, a Playboy playmate accused of body shaming. To be honest, it, uh, it broke my heart. Back in July, Mathers captured an unsuspecting elderly woman on camera, changing in the locker room of an L.A. fitness gym. She captioned the nude photo, if I can't unsee this, then you can't either, and posted it on Snapchat. There is no question that by her own caption that she intended to shame this woman. And that's the nub of this case. After the incident, Mathers apologized in a Snapchat video and on Twitter. I know that body shaming is wrong and that's not what I'm about. That photo was taken to be part of a personal conversation with a girlfriend and because I am new to Snapchat, I really didn't realize that I had posted it and that was a huge mistake. If charged, Mathers could face up to six months in jail for violating California privacy laws. You, me, no one is better than anyone else, and we don't have the right to judge anybody else or put anybody else on blast. So, you know, what she did wasn't okay, and I think I want to send the message to the rest of us that people aren't like that. Since then, Danny Mathers has privated most of her social media accounts and has been banned for life from L.A. fitness gyms. And as for the city attorney in charge of this case, he has to decide whether or not he'll file charges. Live in Santa Barbara, Vic Nguyen, News Channel 3. Okay, thank you, Vicki.